1,851 years ago and was raised out of the ocean 15 years ago. Yeah, but today is the first time yeah. the H.L. Huntley submarine's hull is being revealed. News 2's Macy McLeod has this story. A piece of Civil War history. It was the first submarine to sink an enemy ship in combat, so it's the... Uh, the, the, the grandfather, if you will, of, of submarines and their application in, uh, in, in naval warfare. But something went wrong, and the Hunley sank in 1864, killing the eight men on board. Why it sank, we don't know. That's what we're trying to, one of the things we're trying to determine is what happened to it. Since the ship was brought on dry land in 2000, it has been hiding under a layer of sediment, or concretion. That is, until today. So we can see sections that we were not able to x-ray or see before and understand how the submarine works and how it was built and that's very important for us. Archaeologists are now learning more about the damage to the hull and hope it will lead to a discovery about how the Hunley sank. To remove the concretion, conservators use chemical solutions and tools that are about the size of the ones dentists use. We have removed several tons of concretion, and this is just exterior. The interior we have removed nine, ten tons of sediment. So we are really lightening up the weight of the submarine, which is why we need to do it so carefully, because the iron is fragile, and you're removing the support that it used to have. The Hunley isn't only uncovering information about American history, but it's helping to make strides in the field of science. And techniques that we have used, uh, people been using it in Europe or maybe in other places that they send us material for us to treat just because the techniques we have come up with because of the submarine. The next step is cleaning up the interior to expose more answers in the mystery of the Hunley. Macy McLeod, News 2. Figure out why that thing went down. And if you want to go check out the Hunley's newly revealed hull, the exhibit is open Saturdays and Sundays. And for more information, you can find out about it by checking out Canon 2.